Welcome to the year-end edition of Bias Bash. I'm Cal Thomas, syndicated columnist and Fox News contributor. This year provided a cornucopia, a tsunami of examples of media bias. So many, it is difficult to choose the best, or in this case, the worst. But with the help of the Media Research Center and a panel of judges, of whom I was one, here are the top five worst examples of bias for 2015. Number five. Dick Meyer, former CBS News producer and now Washington bureau chief for Scripps Howard Newspapers, quote, Americans are lucky to have Barack Obama as president, and we should wake up and appreciate it while we can. President Obama will go down in history as an extraordinary president, probably a great one. It would be a morale booster and a sign of civic maturity if more Americans appreciated what an exceptional president they have right now. It could be a long wait for the next one. Number four. Washington Post columnist Harold Meyerson for this gem, quote, Fueled by the mega donations of the mega rich, today's Republican Party is not just far from being the party of Lincoln, it's really the party of Jefferson Davis. It suppresses black voting. It opposes federal efforts to mitigate poverty. It objects to federal investment in infrastructure and education, just as the antebellum South opposed internal improvements and rejected public education. It scorns compromise. It is nearly all white. It is the lineal descendant of Lee's army, and the descendants of Grant's have yet to subdue it. Hmm. Number three, former NBC and CBS Morning News host Brian Gumbel, who's currently hosting HBO's Real Sports. In an interview with Rolling Stone posted January 20, quote, There are a few things I hate more than the NRA. I mean, truly. I think they're pigs. I think they don't care about human life. I think they are a curse upon the American landscape. Number two, Mark Halperin, co-host of Bloomberg TV's With All Due Respect, on MSNBC's Morning Joe, April 14th. He's talking about Hillary Clinton stopping at a Chipotle in Iowa to order a burrito. Quote, the two words she needs are fun and new. And part of why yesterday was so successful is she looks like she's having fun and she's doing for her new stuff. We've never seen her get a burrito before. Fun and and new. And number one, left-wing New York Times columnist Paul Krugman, a regular basher of all things Republican, in a December 29, 2014 interview with Vox.com's Ezra Klein. Quote, as a Times columnist, I can't do endorsements, so you have no idea which party I favor in general elections. Right, like the Times is crawling with Republicans and conservatives. There are many more examples of media bias in 2015, and you can find them at the Media Research Center's website, mrc.org. Well, that's Bias Bash for today and for 2015. Be assured there will be many more examples in the presidential election year. For more media analysis, tune into Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz, Sundays at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm Cal Thomas. Thanks for joining me on Bias Bash, and Happy New Year.